Hello and welcome to my presentation of process bus and the implementation within CProtect 5. Let me introduce myself. My name is Stefan Fleming. I'm a product lifecycle manager for CProtect 5 devices responsible for process bus and IEEE 1588 PTP time synchronization. What is process bus? It's the digital interface between the process level and the field level. Traditionally, the instrument transformers are connected from the process directly to the IDs at field level like the protection devices. With process bus, the idea is to digitize the analog and binary signals as close as possible to the process level, to reduce, for example, copper wiring. Because of the low signal levels of LPIT, the use of LPIT essentially requires a digitization at process level via a merging unit. Let's have a look at the benefits using process bus. At the primary equipment, reduction of the CT burden reduces the cost for the primary CT. The CT drives the current through a much shorter cable to the merging unit, which means a CT with lower burden can be used. Operational safety is important. At the danger of open CT circuits, it's reduced because the CT connection is outsourced to the primary equipment instead within the protection cubicles. With LBLT, it's obsolete by nature, where there is no risk of harmful voltages because of the low signal level of the LPIT. You can save further costs by reduction of copper cables, by fast installation and commissioning. You increase the independency by interoperable design, which enables multi-vendor solution based on 6150 standard. Reduce space in the control building, reduces the footprint requirements and saves more costs. Increase flexibility and scalability by an easy adaption to future requirements integration is given. New IDs just have to subscribe to the already existing current and voltage streams at the process level. Let's get into some applications. Central protection using our 7SS85 distributed bus bar protection device, for example. You can protect 10 feeders with, uh, for example, impedance, overcurrent protection or frequency protection, and on top, the bus bar differential protection. Central protection of a small substation with 7UT87 transformer differential protection is another example, which covers transformer protection, the line protection to the infeeding line, a mix of directional connection of analog values with subscription of sample value streams is possible. And the backup protection can be realized in the merging unit directly. This increases further the reliability. This could be, for example, a simple overcurrent or voltage protection. Let's have a look at a transformer feeder. You can use individually merging units for each primary current transformer or one single merging unit to reduce the number of merging units out in the field. In both cases, the merging unit is you interface to the primary equipment and can act as well as step changer controller, collect further data from the flow sensors, temperature sensors or pressure sensors. The merging unit connects to the Buchholz relay pressure relief devices can take care about the automatic voltage regulation, transformer cooling control, or switching device control. As already mentioned, the mix of directional connected analog values and values received through process bus is possible. This includes also line differential applications, where opposite end does not need to be a process bus substation, which means also no time synchronization is required at the opposite end. With a digital twin of CBREC5, you can individually simulate and test your CBREC5 process bus clients. Test protection functions and protection coordination via simulation of the subscribed currents and voltages. Test with SCADA communication and GU signals between CBREC5 devices. In future, you will be able to simulate the whole CBREC5 system within the digital twin, including publishing of sampled values by the merging unit and subscription of those streams to the CBREC5 protection device. Let's have a closer look at the merging unit. As already said, the merging unit provides the interface to your various primary equipment, like switching devices, temperature sensors, tap changers, Buchholz relay, flow sensors, and so on. You can realize user logic for field and bay interlocking, transformer cooling control, apply an automatic voltage regulator, and so on. Up to four Ethernet interfaces providing you the capability of up to eight streams, two per each Ethernet interface, and each of those interfaces uh, can publish up to 32 analog values per single stream 
with a flexible allocation of currents and voltages to publish and all in accordance with IC61869-9. The sample synchronization is realized via IEEE 1588 PTP or for retrofit scenarios also PPS directly would be possible. What sampling rates are supported uh, by CPTEC 5 process bus? You can have the 6150 9-2 LE uh, streams, which are backwards compatible, as well as the IEC 61869-9 streams uh, with flexible assignment. And for more fault tolerance, missing of one sample will be interpolated and doesn't cause any interruption of a protection. Let's talk about the flexibility of the hardware. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is a CPTEC 5 merging unit, but in different flavors. So you can have a small CPTEC 5 merging unit with just a couple of binary inputs and outputs, uh, or you have a full-blown merging unit with a second row, serving more CTs and VT inputs, have a temperature connection, and so on. To increase the reliability of such a merging unit, also a redundant power supply is possible. Uh, to be independent from an outage of one of those sources. Uh, on the mounting side, we have a choice as well. You can go with flush mounted uh, housing or surface mounted housing or go surface mounted and a detached display to mount the display at the front of a cubicle. The flexibility goes also further to the software. So here you have a choice to tailor fit your protection functions within the CPTEC 5 client, means the subscriber to ProSPAS, and even with backup protection functions on the merging unit side. You simply would drag and drop from the Dixie 5 software, which is our engineering suit, uh, to the ID to enable those functionality. For such a system, reliability and security is a must. Besides the rugged designed hardware and by standard conformal coded electronic boards, Special care needs to be given to cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is embedded in CPTEC 5 and provides secure communication with TLS, IPsec, and client server authentication, firmware integrity checks, product search for vulnerability handling, centralized account management and whole based access control, centralized security, event locking, future readiness with PKI support. How about the opposite end, the ProSPAS subscriber, the protection devices? So, three of those Ethernet modules can be used to subscribe uh, six SIM streams per module in total, which means in total you can have three times six SIM streams. As you see, the protection device can be fully used also to subscribe to some measured values, besides to analog values. Network redundancy for ProSPAS, which is a mission critical task, requires a seamless network redundancy like HSR and PRP. Both is given for CPDEC 5. For process bus, you have to take care also about the network segregation. The reason is that merging is publishing some measured values and this uh, generates a lot of data. Uh, 61859-2 LE stream, for example, publishes five to six megabyte of data. And you can imagine this will overwhelm a network easily if you have multiple of those streams. How can this be done? On one side, with physical network segregation, where you use multiple Ethernet ports of a CBLEC 5 merging unit or ProSPAS client to split those into useful uh, networks. And on the other hand, you can do that with virtual network segregation. And here you use the same Ethernet interface, but apply VLANs. And those VLANs are virtual networks to keep the unnecessary traffic out of your links. Using IC61869-9 instead of 61859-2 LE can reduce the network traffic drastically. On that example here, for breaker and a half scheme, you can reduce it by up to 42% and you replace two streams of a 61859-2 LE by a single stream uh, of those flexible engineering. This is the end of my presentation. I'd like to say thanks a lot for your attention. For further insights, please feel free to get in touch with me. With that, I would like to say goodbye and have a good day.